going on YouTube, GS right here. In today's video we're taking a look at a software called UPDF, which is a universal, productive, delightful, fast PDF editor. And this one is available for both Windows, Mac OS, but it's also available for iOS and Android, so no matter if you're running on mobile or on a computer, you're still able to carry out your PDF modifications and viewing and stuff like that. So the program is available at updf.com and there's a free trial available. For the Mac OS version there is the Apple chip version and the Intel chip versions, and if you check out down below in the description there will be a good deal available. Now if you want to install it on a Mac you just go ahead here on UPDF DMG file that you get from the website and just drag and drop the UPDF application to the applications folder in there. Once you've done that it will be available here on the launchpad and the program looks like this. So once you open it you have the open file option, you have batch combine, batch insert and stuff like that. There are a couple of uh, test documents for example these over here and there is also a PDF example that I have. This PDF example is basically their website but I saved it in PDF format as you can see over here and yeah the program does definitely work for viewing PDF files you can zoom like this and you can see the number of pages and stuff like that jump to a specific page it has bookmarks if you want to create a bookmark and stuff like that the thumbnails for each page is available over here but the most important part of this is the ability to edit those PDF files so if you go here into comment mode you have the option to basically have sticky notes for example I'm gonna have one over here finish document by today and you can save it you can see the note which is finished document by today you can choose the color whatever then you have the highlight option which allows you to highlight with various colors including a color picker I'm gonna go ahead and highlight pricing in there and I'm gonna highlight try it out today over here so you can see that you can easily carry out modifications there is a pencil available in here you can set the width and you can basically draw whatever you want to draw in here and stuff like that so if you want to modify the document you can do so in any way shape or form the UPDF program also supports PDFs with forms, so that's also something you should know. You can create shapes in here like lines and hexagons and polygons and stuff like that. Stickers are available as well, including stamps and stuff like that for revised or confidential, for example. You can place it wherever you want. You can resize them if you wish. You can also add signatures. You can create your signature and add it to a document. You may resize it as well. If you want to create a signature, you go here, create signature, and you can basically draw whatever you want to draw in there. And that's basically it. That's your signature. Then we have text boxes you can basically write anything you want on the document like hello world over here and you can select the color the borders stuff like that another important thing you can do is to password protect documents which is important you press in here on protect using password and you have a couple of options document open which requires the password to open the document restrict editing and printing of the document and stuff like that so I'm gonna go with document open and I'm gonna set a password like one two three four one two three four you should probably select something better than that and there are encryption levels in here including 256 bit AES now you press apply and and save. And once you do that, you have a PDF document which cannot be opened without knowing the password. As you can see, if you try to open it, it asks for the password, 1234 in my case, press unlock, and there you go, you have the entire document. Then in here on the edit PDF, you have the option to edit everything on here. So if I want, for example, to edit the universal PDF text over here, I'm going to go and write anything that I want. So I'm going to say, check out this amazing tool and I can grab this and you know put it in the center and stuff like that and I've modified the content of this instead of free download I'm gonna basically say try it out like this and as you can see I've modified the PDF and it looks amazing I'm gonna go with adding an image in here I'm gonna add an arrow like here and select this little PNG file that I have which is an arrow you can basically resize it and there you go you can crop you can rotate it you can replace it you can extract the image and stuff like that I'm gonna add it like here and then that's about it. You can even add links. For example, I'm going to go with this. So link to a web page is going to be HTTPS updf.com and now I have the link in there. There are page tools available as well. For example, if you want to watermark, I'm going to go ahead in here. You can add a watermark. It can be anything. So I'm going to go with confidential. And as you can see, we now have watermarks for the pages and it automatically applies where you select it. You can remove it. You can add more. And you can even have backgrounds in here, header and footer and stuff like that. Another important part is that you can export the document, the PDF that you've modified into a different format. So I'm going to go here on export 
import PDF and you can go with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, rich text document, text, image, but also HTML file. So I can make this a web page. So yeah, that's basically it. The tool, as I said, is available both on mobile and on a computer. So you can easily access your PDFs and you can scan documents, do OCR and stuff like that. So recognize text, whatever. It's nice that you can annotate and, you know, highlight stuff and leave notes in there for you. So that's actually quite nice. Definitely check the program out in the link below. There will be a good deal available below. So thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.